Cats 101 returns in a minute with a trip into the heart of the cat's cradle, Thailand. Travel the globe and you'll see cats everywhere you go, from the biggest cities to the smallest towns, from Sunbelt to Snowbelt. But there is one cat-loving nation that towers above the rest. Cats are everywhere in Thailand. Thailand is the place where the passion for the cat fancy really originated. Without a doubt, Thailand is the cat capital of the world. It's the motherlode of the world's most iconic cats, with quality so prized, their genes have contributed to at least 44 Western breeds, including the American Bobtail, the Ossacat, even the Peterbald. Martin Clutterbuck, who has lived in Thailand for 25 years, literally wrote the book on Thai cats. The number of breeds which you, you could say have Thai genes in them, whether Siamese or Burmese, is huge. It all started when Victorian England went gaga for a cat from Siam, as Thailand was formerly known. The first Thai cats, uh, Siamese cats, made their way from Bangkok back to London, and they were a sensation. It was actually the Thai cats that inspired the international cat craze over 100 years ago. But Siam already boasted a centuries-old cat culture. 300 years before the first Western cat shows, Thailand had the Tamara Meow, or cat book poems. The cat book poems of Thailand are, are, are the oldest breed standard and cat care manual in the world that talk about the cat's diet, how to feed it on rice and fish, should be on gold and silver bowls, give it a, a nice pillow to sleep on, you know, look after it. At the Thai Cat Center, south of Bangkok, you can see cats identical to the ones described in the Tamra Meow. Founder Kam Nan Precha uses the ancient manuscript to guide his breeding program. I have tried to conserve the Thai cats and their characteristics so that future generations can see what a true bred Thai cat looks like. Sometimes they came in three tour buses at once, altogether 800,000. This has made me proud that I have caused Thai people to know more about Thai cats. Including one the Thai call Wichian Mat, or Moon Diamond. It's the original Siamese cat. Then there's the Burmese, known in Thailand as the Supalak, or Copper. The Konja, an all-black cat. The striking Khao Mani. And perhaps Thailand's most esteemed cat of all, the Korat. And Bangkok, where the new Thailand flexes its muscles, is also the best place to see the ancient Buddhist roots of Thai cat tradition. Traditionally, Buddhist temples are a place for uh, praying, getting all the philosophies of the Buddha, and it's a place for unwanted animals, cats and dogs alike. It's just like the uh, SPCA <laughs> of all the cats in Thailand. Buddhism teaches that all living things are sacred, so temples are a safe haven for homeless cats. But there's a more practical reason monks keep cats, shown by this mural. The cats are looking after the Tipikara, which is the heart, the basic scripture, the constitution of the Buddhist religion. Rats and mice will eat just about everything, including sacred religious texts. But killing rodents would violate the monks' oaths. So to protect temple relics, they invite nature's most lethal mousetraps to live with them, cats. And the strays taken in by this temple are living proof that Thailand's legendary breeds are still prowling Bangkok's back alleys. But there are too many stray cats for the monks and concerned residents to care for. The cats will just come here and I like to feed them, and they stay here and live with me. Soon they have babies, and there were lots and lots of cats. Enter SCAD, an organization working on behalf of stray animals. 
Bangkok has a lot of stray cats and dogs and one of the ways that we can help is with sterilising and vaccinating the street animal population. Thanks to Kundao and SCAD, the cats in this neighbourhood will soon be healthier and happier than ever before. Out in the countryside, things are a little different. Thailand is the world's greatest exporter of rice, and for villages in Korat province, drought can be disastrous. So when the rains fail, they turn to cats, so lucky that they believe the cats can save the harvest. The villagers have recruited a Korat cat, and it's a gorgeous example of the breed. When Cats 101 returns, can this special kitty bring the rain? Villagers in this Thailand community are suffering through a drought. They have turned to a Korat cat for help. It's a community event that brings out the whole village, from the very young to the very old. The local priest thanks the lucky cat, who doesn't seem to feel very lucky. To bring rain, every household throws water on the procession and the cat. But does this ancient tradition actually work? You may scoff, but two years ago there was a very severe drought. The modern irrigation gave out, and so they held a rain ceremony. And three days later, it rained. That's one powerful cat. The rain cat ceremony is one example of how cats have been a part of Thailand for a very long time. The Thai people, deep down in their heart, they love cats. They understand that we do have this uh, very important national heritage.